Have you heard this from colleagues and others where you work? I laugh when I hear this because I know I go days without ever saying the word death or dying. People have weird opinions about our work, sometimes even people we know pretty well. If you think about it, we have a lot of different ways of saying death. I talk about them all the time. I also have some other favorite words that I use with my closest friends. They're no longer vertical. They have achieved room temperature. <laughs> to do our jobs, we all know we possess certain qualities. Loyal, dedicated, patient, outgoing, detail-oriented. But I think the most important skill to have is humor. Now, this doesn't mean the Groucho Marx knows that you can get a surprise from tax-wise giving. But having or using your sense of humor is important. I'm deadly serious about what I do for the College of New Jersey, but maintaining a sense of humor makes alumni feel more comfortable, and I think it makes me more productive. Do you remember Art Linkletter? I can say the honest things. So do alumni. Sharing humorous alumni take the edge off of serious topics and improves our conversations. It also helps me maintain a sense of balance. There's always humorous things on campus. I'm always the first person to hear about someone dying. And usually the question is, how much will we get? When will it arrive? Can we count this fiscal year? Can we use it for unrestricted purposes? The alum has become dollars and cents. While I process all the paperwork and forms, I also like to make sure people know who they are. I like to fill in the dash between those dates. And I tell people what they did and why your gift is important to us and why they make it. I also make sure that we do the gift the way they intended to. People give for a variety of reasons. They look at things differently, and I like to share those type of things with them. And I like to share the stories, what makes them them to our people. And more often than not, they're humorous stories. We're giving a tour to a very mature alumna. She asked if we could enter an office, which was the president's office. I said, sure, because the president's used to me doing silly things. The alumna shared that this was a science lab when she was in school, and her work study was in this very room. We really laughed hard at the president's chief of staff's face when we told her this was the reptile room when she was there as an undergrad. I asked her why this job, and she said, it's easy. You throw a mouse in the cage once a week, you clean the cage once a semester. She was a math major, and she knew ROI. Imagine the staid old teacher talking about sneaking in and out of the windows after curfew, or the principal talking about car pranks or painting his paternity letters on the campus water tower. It's always best if they didn't get caught. That makes the story even more funny. What makes you happy? Puppies, sunsets, babies. Sharing humor can also make your donors and you happy. Studies show the humor at the office makes it a better office environment and a more productive office environment. This last year, last year conference, I was reading an email from my PET scan and said, I had cancer. Humor became very important to me at that point in time. I was half a country away from my family. My mind raced about what the future may hold. We were starting to finishing a campaign. We hadn't reached goal yet. My daughter was finishing high school. What would I look like without hair? I really enjoyed the conference, but I was sitting there going like, how do I answer the people's questions? How do you feel? I couldn't leave because I had too many obligations to do. But it was like experience the eternal math question in my head as I'm going through the conference. My daughter's favorite actor is Tom Hanks. She gets some of her humor from me. She's also getting good at Photoshop. <laughs> one of my favorite, her favorite, one of my favorite Hong Kong movies is Bridge of Spies. And he plays a um, Cold War lawyer during the Russian, a lawyer during the Cold War. He asks his clients several times, are you worried? To which he respond, would it help? That's become my mantra during this past year. And they say, are you worried about your test? I said, would it help? And then I got a chance to tell them about the movie. I had plenty of obstacles, surgery, treatments. I counted on my family, my friends, my work colleagues, my doctors and prayers. My closest friends knew I was doing okay when they'd say, how do you feel? And I'd say, usually with my fingers. <laughs> when I applied to do this, I was still in treatment. 
And since then, my daughter graduated from high school. She entered TCNJ, where I work. We finished our campaign and exceeded goal, and I got an all clear for my PET scan two weeks ago. <laughs> in closing, I want to tell you that I think humor is the most important thing that we can do. When I say, would it help? I think it does. It makes me productive, more productive, and it makes a better person to work with. So, would it help? Yes. Thank you.